welcome to Buzz and everyone in the world. Today is January the 7th. The time is now 5.22 p.m., guys. It's going to be, it was a beautiful Friday all day. If you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below and that notification bell so you guys can see more of me. And make sure to visit my website, adaycreations.com, guys. It's so lit. Now, today we're going to be talking about five things to do to save your relationship. When you feel like your relationship is on the verge of breaking down and everything is over and it seems like it's impossible to save it, this is what you got to do. So the first thing you want to do to save your relationship, guys, and I believe this is important, is to work on yourself. A lot of times when we are in relationships, we sit there and we point fingers the other person's way and we, we say that they're the problem, they have the issues, and they're the ones that cause all these unnecessary arguments. But it's important for us to look from within and see where we are going wrong in that relationship. Is it something that we're doing? Is it something that we're saying? Are we, we just mistreating them and just not caring about their feelings anymore? So it really is important for us to look from within and decide what is best. Decide what is it about us that we need to change. Now, the second thing that you could do to save your relationship today, guys, is slow down. Take your time with everything. A lot of times I've noticed this in relationships, we feel the need to have to rush and we want to hurry up and do this and hurry up and have a child and hurry up and get married and hurry up and meet the parents. And I, I, you know, I understand it. I get it. But at the end of the day, I do feel like it's important for us to realize that we have to slow down. Take time to get to know your partner. Make sure that that person is for you. Get, get to know this person inside and out. So you can see the things you like about them and the things that you might want to change or the things that you might want them to work on. I mean, it's important for you to know that person. And knowing that person is just, it's, not, it's deeper than just looks. A person can look good, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you, you guys are compatible. So it's important for you to slow down and take your time. Now, the third thing to do to save your relationship today, guys, is try new things together. Don't be afraid to step outside the box. Don't be afraid to, you know, try something new. Go to a movies, go to the mall, go out to eat, or maybe just do something simple like take walks in a park. Or you could go to the beach. You know, it's so many different things that you guys could try together. Something that, you know, will spark a different side of both of you and see if that's the person that you really want to be with. Because when you make that connection together, experiencing something new together, then it makes everything so much better. And it, it, it builds a stronger bond between the two. And that's what you want to do. Now, the fourth way to save, the fourth thing to do to save your relationship today, guys, is be affectionate. Like, a lot of people, you know, you got to be affectionate towards one another. Hugs, kisses, you know, conversation, I feel is so very important. If we could sit down and have a good conversation, then that's two thumbs up. You know, if we could sit down and have laughs together, that's two thumbs up. If I feel so comfortable with you that I can open up about certain things that I've been holding on inside, that is important. So don't be afraid to kiss each other. Don't be afraid to hug each other. Don't forget to tell your partner that you love them because when a person feels that love, not just saying it, but when you show that love, it makes that person feel so welcome and it makes them want to be around you more. And I think that that is so very important, guys. So, yes, be as affectionate as you possibly can. Even writing love letters, love poems, you know, that matters. It's the small things that matter. Now, the fifth thing you want to do to save your relationship today, guys, is commitment, a conversation about commitment. You guys have to be one with each other. You guys have to be committed to working through thick and thin. You got to be committed because there's going to be different tests in that relationship. There's going to be times when you mad at her, she mad at you, or whatever the case may be. But if you guys are committed to staying together, if you guys are committed to making it work and, you know, and committed to just not giving up, then that's when it, that's when everything works out. Because if you can stand me when we good and you can stand me when things are rough, then that means that you was meant for me. And that's just how the game goes, guys. It's not always going to be smooth. It's not always going to be peaches and cream. But you guys got to be willing to come together, be committed, communicate, 
be affectionate, and all these things matter. So if you guys want to save your relationship, I advise you to try those five things that we discussed today. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. And like I always say, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel to see much more. And make sure to visit my website, adaycreations.com. Until the next video, guys, peace.